It's really hot, guys. It's 9.45 at night. And I'm still, like, dying. About to have a heat stroke here. That's how bad it is here. It's, like, probably 80 degrees outside. That's not that hot, but for nighttime, when I'm cooped up in my room recording, you know, with my computer running and all that crap, it's hot. Alright, so now we've got two keys, so we can actually enter this door now. Yeah, you're going to be pretty pissed if you come in here with that one key and just realize there's another locked door right inside of here, so... Make sure you get both of them. Whoops. Link, don't. God. At least it's not like restart the room lava. So this room is interesting. Uh, yeah, a firewall will follow you, so you have to keep moving. There's another locked door up there. Can't do anything about that. That little fuck. I was just about to say something about that, too. I was going to say, those guys try to hit you sometimes if you don't watch yourself, and then that firewall will catch up to you. And if the firewall hits you... It'll block a virus on your computer. No, it'll just, uh, reset you back to the beginning of the room. Um, in there is the dungeon map. I don't know if I'm gonna get that or not. We don't really need it. I mean... Okay, so now we're on the upper floor here. To get to that room with the dungeon map, by the way, just in case I don't go back and do it... Oh, you didn't die. Just in case I don't go back and do it, in that room I was in, where it was the second locked door, if you just shoot that eye switch... It will unlock that door with, door with the bars, and that leads to the map room. Okay, so this is a secret passage, as you noticed, with the big uh, slit in the floor. And what this does is it leads back around to that first Goron we skipped over here in the room with the uh, switch. And we free him from the back door. And he's like, what the hell? So then I'm like, behind you, big guy. Speak. Roll over. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Here's a tip for rescuing me. Somewhere in this temple, you're sure to meet up with some creatures that dance as they attack. Arrows won't hurt them. Looks like you might need some of the Goron's special crop. That's all I have to tell you. Yeah, you could do that, but, you know, whatever the Goron's special crop can do, the big Goron sword can do better, so we'll stick with the biggie. We're pretty good with that. And we get another small key. Nothing left to do in that room, so let's backtrack. Backtrack. Backrap. Backrap. Isn't there an enemy that says that? What game is that from? Backrap. That might be this game. It's a, No, it's those frogs in Majora's Mask, isn't it? The frogs that ride the turtles? Backrap. I think it is. Oh no, that's what the turtles say. The turtles say that. Yeah, this guy, watch out, because he'll respawn, and if you cr climb up this wall and he hits you, you will fall all the way back down, so... Not fun. Right, let's hit this switch, and... The switch frees that Goron on the second level all the way over there. We'll just annoy, ignore you because I don't like you. And I try to stay away from those really thin platforms because I don't like backtracking through those rooms with the firewall to get back up here. It's not really worth it. I try to avoid platforms with those guys too, but sometimes you just can't. Alright, yes, you're free to go. No, I'm going to lock you back in here. Alright, what's, what's your secret? If you find a place that you can see on the map but can't reach, try playing your ocarina. Yeah, so he's talking about that room where we use the Song of Time to uh, move the block. But we're well past that, my friend. Alright, small key. So yeah, and plus, we don't even have a frickin' map, so... That does us no good. Alright, we've cleared out this room. Alright, I lied. We're gonna go back and uh, step on that. There is actually something I want to do over here. That I want to show you. Navi will actually fly up over here to that little... Uh, what could you call that? Balcony up there? So if you play your Scarecrow song... You guessed it! Pierre will come to your assistance. Or is it Bunuru? Oh, well, I guess I'm not close enough yet. Let me get over there more. And actually, there is something else we... I know where we're supposed to go now, but we're just gonna do this because we're in this room and... We won't be coming back. Because we don't need to, so why the hell would we? Alright, Bunuru. Oh, uh, yeah, really easy to fall off there, so be careful. And then you can hook shot to this platform. Oh, Link, step down. Yeah, don't climb on top of that. And it's a very slow elevator to a secret passage. And thankfully, it's not a locked door. So, what do we got? Yeah, this room actually just leads to a Skulltula. It's not in any means necessary. 
So kill you. Get our reward. And, uh, what's up here? I forgot. I think there is actually a locked door up here. Maybe this does go somewhere your need is supposed to go. Oh, well, guess we'll find out. Nope, just a regular door. What have we got? Oh, yeah, this room is basically a preview of what's to come in later rooms. There's actually a Skulltula right here, so this is why we came here. We'll get you, steal you. There's a pit down there that you can fall that leads to another room. Basically, what you're supposed to do is hit that switch and then hookshot up those things up to the top there, and you'll get a chest with like a silver ruby or something. But it's really hard and it's not worth it. Basically, it's just practice for later in the temple. But all we really wanted was the two easy Skulltulas, which they are two really easy Skulltulas right next to each other and you virtually have to do no work for it. So let's fall back down. Nope, we don't want to stay on that elevator and be trapped forever. Okay, I guess we could go this way. You know what? What the hell? That's good I fell. Now we can get the map. Like I said, you know, what I've really been trying to live by in this LP is some wise words from, you know, another Let's Player is that, you know, a lot of people are trying to rush through the LP and get as much done in each episode. I'm not going to name any names, but a lot of people do that with their LPs. And they try to make it over as quickly as possible, and they get too excited for their next Let's Play. And, you know, why get, that's how I was feeling last Let's Play during Soul Silver. I couldn't wait to finish it because I was so excited for Ocarina of Time. But at one point, I was so excited for Soul Silver, you know, before I started Let's Playing. So I'm kind of just going to live by the words, you know, to enjoy this LP while it lasts, because it certainly goes by too fast, and I don't want to think of it as a job, because, you know, I've already certainly got one of those, and it's enough as I can handle already, so I want to enjoy this LP and actually play it like I'd normally play it and have fun with it, so any of you other LPers out there that are watching my videos or subscribe to me, try and heed those words. Just enjoy the Let's Play while it lasts, because you only get to Let's Play this game once. I mean, you could do it twice, whatever, yeah, sure, but... You only get to do the first Let's Play on this game once, so enjoy it. You know, each area, each room you pass, that fucking bastard, each room you pass, you're only going to get to do that room, you know, once or twice, so enjoy it. And this seemingly impossible jump right here, fuck. I guess it is impossible if you're an idiot like me. Anyway, like I was going to say, this jump seems seemingly impossible, but Link actually grabs onto the ledge, and you can use your small key here. But like I was saying, yeah, you know, just enjoy it while it lasts because you wanted to do this game for a reason because it's exciting, so just do it and enjoy it. Don't try to get as much done in what each episode. I mean, who cares? If your LP ends up going to 200 parts or whatever, who cares? I mean, it's not like you get docked pay for doing it slower. You know, the faster you do it, it doesn't matter. You don't get paid for the faster you do it. The sole reason Let's Players do Let's Plays is for fun. So anyway, enough ranting. Uh, what Navi will tell you if you let her is that this is the pillar you can see down from here. Isn't that the room where we saw Darunia? Yeah. So this is the room above the boss room where Darunia went. So this is the pillar we need to knock down. But we can't do that right now. Anyway, this room is pretty cool. It's pretty big. It looks simple at first. There's only two sides and just, you know, a few boulders and pillars running around. Let's stay away from that. Nope. But if you actually run around here, what you'll notice is these pillars generate firewalls. I, I've been using that word a little too generously lately. Firewalls, yeah. So, and I just keep running into them because I'm an idiot. Oh well. So basically, trial and error. Try to figure out where you're supposed to go. And go there. Try to get around to the store over here. And there we have it. Not too bad. It's not like you're going to die, you know. Those things only take away so many hearts. Alright, we've got another little Goron trapped here, but we can't reach him. So remember what that other Goron said? If you find a place you can't reach, try playing your ocarina. So we're going to play the Song of Time since I saw a Song of Time block up there. I don't know if I showed you guys that well enough, but uh, it was there for a second. And that'll teleport the block right down here. And we can get access to the upper floors. Hoo ha ha! You know, I don't know if you wear your blue tunic in here, if it's too hot in here for you to survive. Like, you'll start dying, you know, 
I don't know. I've always wore my red tunic. I pretty much wear my red tunic throughout the entire game. You know what? You're not supposed to jump from this one. You're supposed to jump from the block, you idiot. There we go. Okay, but what's this? This switch looks rusted. Yeah, the switch is rusted, so we can't get it down with just our weight, like usual, so that sucks. I guess that was all for naught? No, not really. It's uh, interesting information to have. Anyway, we got another rusted switch here, and from here we can get on top of this pillar. But we still can't do anything about that. It looks like everything in this temple just needs more power. You bastard. If you try to open this door right here, you'll notice it's one of the fake doors and it'll flop like that and try to kill you. So you can actually use the, um, whoa! You can actually use the bomb and destroy those. Link, oh my god, I'm just killing you. Look at you. Look at me, I'm just killing you. What's in here? Oh, another... There's a treasure. This must be the compass. Man, my throat is really dry. I need to drink. There is the compass. Not really necessary, but there it is. I'm so glad I brought a Dr. Pepper with me to record. I knew I would need it. I brought some uh, red vines, too. Some licorice. Oh, yeah, that's a great sight to be greeted with a boulder in my face. Nice. Link, stop fucking running into the walls, man. I mean, I'm sorry to blame you for my shortcomings since I am... Okay, how the hell am I supposed to get around there, guy? Okay, look at me. I've lost six hearts. A quarter of a heart at a time. Oh, I know how I'm supposed to get through there. Duh. I think I saw somebody else make this mistake on their Let's Play. I don't remember who. Oh, that's a hole. That'll drop you down to Darunia's room. There's another fake door, too. Is that the one I just showed you or not? I don't know. So yeah, we gotta go through this maze again. I shouldn't have gone through the top, but I had to shoot. Oh, and then the fire keys come after you. Oh, well, better them than ice keys. I'm just getting careless, man. Look at me. But I guess that happens when you have a lot of hearts. Oh, yep, nice song of time block in my face. Anyway, what you're supposed to do is go through this door on the other side of the room. Should have just completely ignored it and done that in the first place. And that takes you to this side of this little firewall so that you can actually access the room. You know what? Die. So you can actually access the rest of this room. If I run into one more wall, this let's play is over. How about that? That is a rule. I'm declaring it now. Oh, well that doesn't count. That wasn't a wall. That was that guy's little spewing fire. Alright, we've got a switch over here. And that sets down that wall, and as you can hear, a really quick... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. A really quick timer starts playing, and we've already failed at it, so we're just gonna wait till the switch pops back up. And do it again, because you're supposed to get over there really quickly to get to that door, but... You know, I'm a jackass, so I can't really do it. Okay, and we're up here, so now we're safe. Let's stock up on supplies. And you know what that means. If they're stocking you up, if there's pots... Boss time! Well, mini boss time. Alright, we got another fake door here. And you have to kill these with the Goron special crop, sadly. That's one thing the Biggie does not do, is destroy fake doors. So we'll blow that to smithereens. And go in the real door. And this is the flame dancer that one Goron was talking about, who attacks as she dances. So what you're supposed to do here is you could use the bombs, but you could just use the hookshot on this guy. And just Biggie him to death, as I like to do. He'll chase, he'll let you chase him around the room, and then when he sees you, he'll try to pull a little U-turn like that and run away. And then after a few hits, he'll jump back in the flame and turn into the little dancer lady. And she'll start dancing and shooting out flames, so just a hook shot her as soon as possible. Get two hits on this guy. With the biggie, this guy goes down in three rounds. You only have to do uh, two hits each. And he'll change colors each time, but if you don't have the biggie, the Master Sword takes quite a few hits to knock this guy between rounds. I think it's like three for each one there, so it's nine total, whereas it's only six with the biggie. Alright, and that simple, dead. You could call that a mini boss, I guess, but it's a really shitty one. Good concept, easy battle.